Welcome back to Spooky Scary. This is creepy, what is it? This noise is broadcast over most of the frequencies. Something has to be done about this before they can broadcast it over the air. Oh, really? Actually, I was wondering myself. The president of the studio knows that! The many guys knows that! I thought you were gone. Yeah, I thought you were gone too. So we can't just rush in. Only fools rush in. We've got to come up with a new plan now. If the president leaves, maybe the guards will be gone too. That's when we do our broadcast. It might not be as influential, but it's better than nothing, right? We don't stand a chance if we take him head on, right? Don't worry about us. I have Kirog Junction to my health. I am fine. I am fine with Tornado. Lots of Tornado. <laughs> Tornado. We'll fight your enemies based on your decision. That's our duty, Scouts Honor. <laughs> duty. <laughs> you tell us to go, we go. Even if it is a losing battle, yeah! I love a good losing battle. How sad. Act on my decision, that's your duty. Well, you wrote the contract! Oh, what an easy life it must be just to follow orders. Yeah, actually it is. <laughs> it's actually fantastic. <laughs> that's what, that is what they're doing. Call it what you want. All we want for you is to achieve your goal using our help. So that we could take another job. I find it hard to believe that you can do it, though. What did you say? If you have something to say, just say it. Yeah, I'll tell you. How serious are you? Really? The three of you plot down on the floor to discuss strategy? That's on called top squatting! Of, on top of that, you can't make a decision without our input, We right? made that plan without your How input. How do you think we feel working for such an organization? Really good, you said so yourself. Be too hard, man. Be too hard, like really hard. I uh, guess I'll follow. Sorry, guess I got a little carried away. But your planning is terrible. <laughs> you suck, fools. You know, maybe this was all a big mistake. I thought everything would work out fine once Seed came to help us. But I guess it's not that easy. You were all hired. It's not like you were one of us. Um, let's see. We'll cancel our plan and then we'll disperse for now. We don't stand a chance if we take them head on, right? So, you guys probably think this is all a game to us. Well, it's not. We're serious. We're super serious. So serious, it hurts. But we're here. We might as well just kill them. Hey! Listen! Listen! Oh, look at this. Are they starting? No. No. They're just screwing up. Oh, the TV's on. Oh shit. TV. Think with this guy. Right. Uh, testing. One, two. T testing. Testing. Oh! Uh, people of the world! Can, can you see me? Can you hear me? Oh, this is incredible. Ladies and gentlemen, this is not a recording. This is an actual broadcast over the air. Why? Oh my god! Why would people own TVs if it's not worked for 17 years? Just in case. <laughs> to play the, the emergency television. Hey, to play videos. To play tapes. Because this was people were still watching tapes back then. Oh, I suppose. You gotta watch those old episodes of Sanford and Son. Oh absolutely. <laughs> Shit, darling. <laughs> Uh, fucking girl body remember I should stick on the good life and remember the old days. <laughs> they had... <laughs> what about those people on Good Times? They had good times. I think we should watch a rerun, darling. We always watch a rerun. Yeah, but we've never watched Tommy Cooper. Tommy Cooper? What the fuck's that? Tommy Cooper show. He fucking... Fez. He has a Fez. He has a Fez and he's like, you know, fuck, spoon... Or is it spoon, jar, jar, spoon? Puts the spoon in the jar. You've lost me here. You've never heard of Tommy no, Cooper? No, I've honestly Sweet never. Sweet Jesus. He's like an old comedian. Died on stage. Actually had a heart attack on stage. People thought it was a joke. No, he died. I think I've heard that one. Yeah. I've heard that story. That's Tommy I've Cooper. I've heard that joke before. It's not... Yep, yeah, yep. Yeah. Turned out, he, was, turned out he, he was actually dead. <laughs> yeah. I have to educate you on Tommy Cooper and his very old school humor. <laughs> that wasn't... Unlike certain com comedians of the era, wasn't actually racist. It was just very innocent and fun. Oh, good. This has been 17 years since the live broadcast! <laughs> oh my god! Oh, oh my god! <laughs> oh, uh, I'm having palpitations! Oh, please excuse me. I seem to have lost my composure. I think I'm hyperventilating. We would like to present you today a message from the lifelong president of Galbania, Vincent Dealing! Ladies and gentlemen, 
Prisoner of Daylight! Ah! Finally get to put on my Frank Underwood voice again. That's a pirate. That's actually that black flag is actually a pirate flag. He just holds it up and it's got the skull and crossbones. It's like what? Well, <laughs> Greetings. I am Vinza Dealing, lifelong president of Galbadia. Today, I stand before you to make the following proposition. We, the people of this world, have the power to end all wars. See, see, it's a peace proposal to the world. I knew it. Unfortunately, there are some trifling problems standing between Galbadia and other nations, and they must be resolved. I plan to convene with other nations' leaders immediately to resolve these problems. At this time, allow me to introduce the ambassador who will be my representative for the conference. Man, all this just to introduce a ambassador! The ambassador is the sorceress. The sorceress? Oh boy. Hey! Cypher! What happened to that guy? Oh. What's what's he doing? It's trying to treat! Stay back. Squat, what are we gonna do? I don't know, set and watch is a good idea. Last man. time, stay back. You're only going to provoke him. Nothing. Our job is to assist the owls. They've told us to do nothing. The owls are still around. It's none of our business. Timber team, are you watching? Get over here right now! You have permission! I need your help! Cypher? <laughs> I need your help. He's probably still on level 5. Squad! Squad leader! Uh, How dare you refer to me as squad leader after my numerous mistakes. <laughs> Off I go. Squad. Squad lion. Squad oh. leader. I've always wanted to be on TV. Oh shit. I was on Fox Kids once. That's another story. <laughs> <laughs> we need to restrain him. What do you think you're doing? It's obvious, ain't it? What are you planning to do with this guy? Planning to do? Oh, that's right. He knows Renoa. Is that why he's there? I get it! You two were fuck buddies. <laughs> Holy shit. <laughs> you're Renoa's fuck buddy. Sh shut your damn mouth, chicken wuss. He broke out of the disciplinary room, injuring many in the process. That is a weird line to just read out. Yeah. It just doesn't... So you stupid idiot! Is he turned into Chris Jericho? Zell, please. No, he's not turned into Chris Jericho. He's still Guy Fieri. Stupid idiot! <laughs> Be quiet. It's right now! You gotta take your stupid idiot back to guard it, right? No! Ha! <laughs> I see. So you're all from Garden. Let's do something, Rank. <laughs> Did I say anything? Should anything happen to me, the entire Galbadian military will undoubtedly crush Garden. You can let go of me now. <sighs> nice going, chicken horse. You and your stupid big mouth. Wow, Zell. Oh, man. <laughs> Take care of this mess, instructor and Mr. Leader. By the way, I was never going to voice Zella's Jericho. It's fine. It was just because of the fact that... He said you stupid idiot. Yeah, Jer he says that a lot. <laughs> Who says a lot? Well, time to give a speech. <laughs> <clears throat> we will sail the seven seas. We will find buried treasure. We will... Hey, ladies. Um, sir, I don't know who you are, but, um... What's this I've heard about a space program? <laughs> this interview is over! <laughs> <laughs> huh? Who's that surprised it knocked the... Poor, poor boy. Stay away from me! She's got a burn on the face. Such a confused little boy. Are you going to step forward? Retreat? You have to decide. Stay back! The boy in you is telling you to come. The adult in you is telling you to back off. You can't make up your mind. You don't know the right answer. You want help, don't you? 
You want to be saved from this predicament. SHUT UP! Don't be ashamed to ask for help. Besides, you're only a little boy. I'm not. S stop calling me a boy! You don't want to be a boy anymore? You want me to chop your little dicky off? I AM NOT A BOY! <laughs> <laughs> there he goes. Come with me to a place of no return. Bid farewell to your childhood. Bye. <laughs> I have no idea what's going on. I'll see you later. <laughs> okay, apparently I'm frozen inside now. <laughs> yep. Stuck face palming for eternity. God damn it, he ran away. <laughs> <laughs> oh, he ran away. Cypher ran away. <laughs> <laughs> God damn I'll it. never catch him. No, he ran into the curtain. The mighty curtain. Hey guys! Oh, you're back now. Uh, we just witnessed some fucked up shit. <laughs> Where's Cypher? He ran away. He walked into a curtain with a strange lady and he never came back. We don't know. The diplomatic answer is all you're getting. He'll be okay, right? Well, pay, just uh, pay no attention to the man behind the curtain. <laughs> Or the woman. Or the woman. Either of them. I, 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 I'm going. <laughs> See you later. See ya. We can never return to the TV station ever again. Because a of one, that, a one-time area. That one guy who's just like, no, no, no. They found our base. It's completely destroyed. I'm surprised you survived for 17 fucking years. And everyone else? They're fine. They're good at escaping. I know. I saw Zone. The corpse of Biggs and Wedge. And Jesse. Or oh. Lie down, face down in the dirt. How dare you reference Wedge. He's alright in this game. He is alright in this game. We have to stay away from Timber for a while. Is there a safe place you can take me? Uh, this is an order. An order from your client, remember? I wish I didn't have power! God damn it! Oh. Mm, alright. Oh yeah! I'll run after her then. When I become the leader of the Garden, the first thing I'm doing is cancelling my contract. When I become the leader of the Garden, the first thing I will do is call all the bitches. Looks a bit, uh, bit full. Bit full. I've already got... All of it. Enough. Wait, that might be because Selfie might not have... Do any of my dreams. Yeah. I didn't think you did. Have I equipped whoever? Here we go again. Never. That's better. And that's better. Yes. And now you may leave. That is not the door. For now, I heard your place in serious trouble. Go to my place until things settle down. I appreciate it. Thank you. Look at that tiger. What are you waiting for, Squall? Come on. Come on. I can't help but look at the tiger. Yeah. It's a woman now. Who is that? Right, well, I've got a free bar party's on me! Yeah, boy! Bow, 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 bow. Just like <laughs> zooming into Squall and Zell's faces. <laughs> the selfies dancing on the table. Yeah, yeah! Squall's, Zell's the one serving the drinks, and Squall's the one just kind of stood there getting drunk. The selfies just stood on the table screaming, Fire it up, but never run a shot! <laughs> I may have deafened someone with that dubstep. <laughs> Some poor soul who had it in their our, ears. Our voices are actually fine on this. You say that. <laughs> it's just like, it's like, someone's like, What? Speak up! I got it! This way. That way. This is it. This house next to Timber Maniacs. No one will find us here. I'll let you know if anything changes. Till then, make yourself at home. Thanks, Chief. Sitting bull. <laughs> She's the leader of Forest Fox. Almost everyone is a resistant member in this town. But right now, we're the only ones that are really active. What about that team I saw before? <laughs> no. <laughs> okay. okay. Cool. Let's stay here for a while. All right, then. I guess we wiped it out for a second. I still don't get it. I don't get why they're re-abducted. <laughs> oh my god. 
What did Cypher come here for? I think he came to help us, the Forest Owls. I talked about it a lot with him. So please, don't think too badly of him. Yes, he just, uh... Put a gun blade to a president's neck. Yeah, it's an international incident and all that. Anybody in here? What is this? I have two small children here. Don't you do anything to frighten them. Upstairs, hurry. Upstairs. Upstairs. Typical French resistance member. Will she be okay? She'll be fine. The legend goes, that my mother took down many soldiers with her strength cooking on beauty. That beauty pot sure makes it sound like a legend. What if it That is my mother you are talking about! Zutalos! I don't know why I am French and she is American. I'm gonna beat Zuzel. <laughs> How do these pipes work? There's a specific order you gotta do this in. So tired. What if he's alright? He was so angry when he found out it was only the three of you dispatched to Timber. What? They might end up fighting the whole Galbadi of us. And all they dispatch are three ruckus side members. Damn it! I'm going to Timber. Ha! Huh. I never would have guessed he was serious about it. The guy's always serious. You should know that by now. Maybe it was a reason you're not instructor anymore. <laughs> so tired. I can't move. See that cat? <laughs> that cat was important. Wonder if he's alright. Uh, still can't work out these pipes. <laughs> What's going to happen to Cypher? Yeah, he may already be dead. <laughs> How can you be so casual? I feel sorry for him. I only play on the weekends. I feel sorry? Cypher would hate to hear that. Uh. What's so funny? You're terrible! So, why do you think Cypher may already be dead? Because... The President of Galbadia and the Sorcerer joined forces. Cypher attacked the President. It's no surprise that Cypher may have been killed because of it. Even so, I still hope he's alive. Think what you want. Reality isn't so kind. Everybody, everything doesn't work out the way you want it to. That's why, as long as you don't get your hopes up, you can take anything. You feel less pain. Anyway, whatever wish you have is none of my business. <laughs> You're mean. I'm just a meanie. I'm just a pessimist. What's with her? Sorry. Ooh, sorry. <laughs> the Galbadian forces are withdrawn. Only the soldiers normally stationed here will stick around. Why do you have a French daughter? If you're gonna leave town, now's your chance. I mean, my daughter did when she was one. I shipped her out so she could learn resistance maneuvers. And it turns out the best place to do that was some kind of place called France. You know how persistent those soldiers can be. Where is France? <laughs> it's not a town you can visit on the world map, I'll put it that way. It's a, it's a forest. It's a forest out there and they have a particular accent. <laughs> it's a forest. Hence why we're called the Forest Foxes. She was in a forest and Fox is French. It's from the French forest. Ah, all right, come on Zell, speak to me. I think you're talking bullshit. <laughs> How dare you? I want to go home. You're not going home. Seems like everyone's tired. So, what's your plan? I leave. Squall, any thoughts on where to go? We have to get out of here first. We walk through the door. Getting out of here is only the first step. Shit. <laughs> I didn't think about it. I didn't think about that. Fuck. What do you mean? Do you know how like you go on like a flight of stairs? There's like more than one step. It's like you've gone on the first step, but you haven't gotten to the top of the steps. Got Ugh. it, code Article Eight, Line uh, Seven. Oh God. Damn. Eight Seven. Matthew Eight Seven. He who brings the bread controls the bitches. <laughs> <laughs> The fuck does that have to do with anything? <laughs> <laughs> Look at all these loaves, ladies. Oh, so bread. So <laughs> <laughs> Jesus comes in with like a loaf of bread. He's like, oh my god. Hey, you should see what I could do with five of these motherfuckers. <laughs> <laughs> hey, ladies. The bread. It's my body. <laughs> <laughs> 
Hey bitches, you my bread and butter. <laughs> Except you ain't my bread. I mean, look at this. <laughs> I am surrounded by a fucking croissant right now. <laughs> <sighs> Jesus, he's such a player. <laughs> I'll tear off your robe right now. I'm a wand woman man. <laughs> whoa, 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 whoa. Blessed are the meek. <laughs> but they are humble. <laughs> And blessed be the bitches, for they are horny! <laughs> Squall, what are you thinking about? Uh, 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 eight seven, eight seven. I've in, gone on a tangent. <laughs> in, in, the, in, in, in the event of bread, I mean, in the event that returning to the assigned garden is not possible, report to the nearest garden. The Garden of Eden. <laughs> Head for the nearest garden. Very good. From here, that would be a girl by the garden. We can take the train from here and get off at a station called East Academy. From there, we have to go through the forest west of the station to get to Galbaia Garden. I've been there several times, we should be okay. Okay then, we'll escape from Timber and head to Galbaia Garden. The party will be... BANGING! Yeah. <laughs> Absolutely. Wait. BANGING! Who's high level? You mad bro? No. You giving yourself fatty chirps, bro? No, that's right. I've fallen for that before. Let's go. You be careful now. Take this with you. How generous! Especially the remedy. The remedy is the important one. So the reason why I've done this swap is because in the Laguna Dream, Zell's actually awake for it, which isn't really helpful if um, because I won't have access to his magic. If that happens, so. Exactly. Exactly. I'm I just swap them. Exchanges all at his junction. You, yeah, you swapped them. Oh. <laughs> I don't know what you're doing right now. Oh. Oh! 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 <laughs> okay! Well, um. Well, that mildly confusing note. I thought, I thought that she'd unjunctioned it, because I, I got it in my mind that Zell had HP junction. That's why yeah. I had 700 health. Oh, that guy just ran on the screen, just stopped dead, just like, ah! Help! <laughs> I hit some kind of invisible wall! Well, I guess on that particular note as well, um, I guess we'll see you in the next episode. Bye! Bye! Bye.